नमस्ते वेलकम टू अर्थ नीति टुडे इज द डे टू सॉल्व इन्वेस्टर क्वेरीज नाउ वन क्वेरी दैट आई रिसीव्ड रिसेंटली वाज हाउ टू गेट द म्यूचुअल फंड यूनिट्स ट्रांसमिटेड इन द नेम ऑफ द नॉमिनीज वंस ऑन द डेथ ऑफ द इनिशियल इन्वेस्टर नाउ दिस वाज द केस ऑफ अ क्लोज रिलेटिव हु हैड इन्वेस्टेड इन सम म्यूचुअल फंड एंड सिंस हर हजबेंड हैड डाइड बिफोर हर द इन्वेस्टमेंट शी हेल्ड वर इन हर सिंगल नेम बट शी हैड मेड रिक्विजिट नॉमिनेशन इन द नेम ऑफ हर चिल्ड्रन सो सी इन केस ऑफ डेथ ऑफ अ फैमिली इट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल a very emotional situation to deal with upon death of a person but getting uh, the finances sorted after uh, the person is no more is a cumbersome task for the survivors correct you need money all your life but once you are uh, once you have gone away from this world yes the money should uh, reach to their uh, rightful descendants rightful uh, what do we say legal hires correct and getting that thing done is a quite cumbersome job so today we will, i will tell you about the various situations that occur in our practical lives and how uh, you can uh, and the procedure rather uh, uh, by way of which you can get the mutual fund units transferred in case of death of an investor now the first uh, a case that i want to talk to you about is where there are more than one unit holders in the sense the investment in a mutual fund is done uh, jointly either or survivor basis now in case there uh, the first unit holder is dead right uh, in that case the investments will be transferred to the second unit holder now what should the second unit holder do to get the name of the first unit holder deleted and the investments to be transferred in the name of the second unit holder now in that case what happens is transmission form needs to be filled in a transmission is the process of, of getting investments transferred in the name of the survivor upon death of an investor correct so a transmission form needs to be filled which is available online on all the websites of mutual fund houses or in physical uh, a physical form can be requested from mutual fund offices nearby correct along with that you will have to submit the death certificate of the deceased in original or attested copy correct plus pan card of the surviving member now if kyc is not in place now if you are already a mutual fund investor kyc is a necessity so in most cases kyc is um, in place and uh, uh, giving pan card again is not required if kyc is not done then you need to start the process of kyc and you can submit the kyc form uh, registration form as proof correct plus uh, in case uh, you need to change your bank uh, details uh, you know, only in that case do you need to give a cancelled check uh, along with the uh, transmission request uh, so that the bank details will be uh, changed as per your new request correct now the second category first i told you uh, there are uh, investments are jointly held and the first unit holder is no more now take the same case where investments are jointly held and the second unit holder is no more now in this case uh, the name of the second unit holder will have to be deleted the for procedure that the first unit holder will be the same as in the previous case in the sense uh, he will uh, he or she will have to fill a uh, request form uh, which is available again online or in physical format for deletion of name of the deceased uh, unit holder which is the second unit holder death certificate a uh, fresh bank mandate in case the bank details need to be changed fresh nomination in case there was no nomination why because if the units are held on either or survivor basis it is okay if nomination is not in place but when one of the unit holder is no more and then you become the sole unit holder in the investments it is always advisable that a nomination should be done so previously if there was no nomination 
प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट नॉमिनेशन फॉर्म इज फिल्ड एंड नॉमिनेशन इज पुट इन प्लेस एंड सी टू इट दैट के वाई सी एक्नोलेजमेंट इफ के वाई सी इज ऑलरेडी डन दैन द के वाई सी फॉर्म इज अटैच विद द रिक्वेस्ट करेक्ट सो आई स्पोक टू यू अबाउट टू केसेस यूनिट्स ऑफ अ म्यूचुअल फंड आर जॉइंटली हेल्ड फर्स्ट केस वी सॉ वॉज फर्स्ट यूनिट होल्डर इज नो मोर the um, units will get transferred in the name of the second unit holder second case that we saw was uh, first unit holder has survived and the second unit holder is no more in which case the second unit holder's name will have to be deleted following the procedure now we will see at the third case where none of the unit holders are uh, have survived and the units have to be transferred in the name of the nominee now this is the case that i told you about my relative where she was holding uh, the mutual fund investments in a singular name but there was a registered nomination in her investments now in this case what is the procedure that you need to follow again a transmission form will have to be filled which is available online plus a death certificate plus uh, a copy of the pan or kyc form if kyc is in place of the nominee and cancelled check of the nominee in his bank account why because his bank account his or her bank account is going to be different from the bank account of the investors so a cancelled check of the nominee with his, uh, the name pre printed on the check is uh, to be submitted along with the transmission form the fourth and the final case that i want to talk to you about is where none of the unit holders have survived but there is no nomination as well now this is not recommended at all all your investments should have nomination correct but in certain cases by oversight if there is no nomination in place and the unit holders are no more how do the legal hires get the investments transferred in their name now this is a bit of a lengthy process first of all again a transmission form will have to be filled a death certificate will have to be submitted uh, kyc will have to be done if not then a pan card will have to be submitted now along with this since there is no nomination that is registered the legal hires will uh, have to give a um, a document which proves their relationship with the unit holders correct say either a birth certificate of the legal hire um, which shows the name of the parents in case the investors are the parents of the legal hires and along with that they will have to submit a bond of indemnity now this is done why because there is no nomination and tomorrow uh, th it should not happen that a third person comes up and claims the amount from the mutual fund house so that is why a bond of indemnity needs to be given now uh, the legal hires have to get a succession certificate or a probate of will from uh, the court of law in case their nomination is not registered in the investments correct uh, uh, individual affidavits now in case there are uh, more than two uh, in more than one legal hire they will have to submit an individual affidavit claiming their relationship with the investors and their claim to the investments correct now in case uh, there are more than one legal hires in case there are two children and uh, the investment will uh, needs to be transferred in the name of one child the uh, noc will have to be uh, uh, given by the child who is not claiming the investments correct so if investments are transferred in the name of one child the other child will have to submit a noc no objection certificate to that effect again if the investments are uh, less than 2 lakh of rupees then the legal hire the claimant will have to submit a uh, an attestation of his signature done his or her signature done by a bank manager if the investments involved are more than 2 lakh rupees then the signature of the claimant will have to be attested by a notary public or first class judicial magistrate correct so these are the processes which are involved in case of death of an investor 
करेक्ट जे टिल द टाइम ऑफ योर डेथ यू नीड मनी बट इफ यू वॉन्ट स्मूथ ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ योर वेल्थ ऑफ ऑल दैट यू हैड एक्यूमुलेटेड इन योर लाइफ to your legal hires it is always always advisable that you make nomination in your in your investments and have a registered will yes do not wait till you get old to make that will make it as soon as you start earning and have a family correct so uh, i hope i have solved this investor query uh, this very practical aspect uh after the death of a family member that the survivors have to face and in case you have any doubts again please feel free to comment below the video and i will be happy to help you correct till next time till the next video be safe and subscribe to my channel arthaniti thank you